Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is Saturday, the 28th of May. Um, I just woke up, morning time. Gonna eat my first meal in just a couple of seconds. Rocking my Gymshark suit. All suited up, ready for this leg day. For the people who don't know yet, this is my pre-workout of choice. Uh, I don't really prefer the pre-packaged pre-workouts because they contain a lot of filling ingredients that don't even do jack shit. Uh, so I like to use some beta alanine. Uh, you know, the, the, it's the ingredient in every pre-workout that gives you the tingles. But what it actually does is uh, it delays or um, minimizes the production of lactic acid in your muscles, which is, you know, the burning sensation which makes you uh, fail so you can basically go on for longer uh, getting some extra reps in per se some creatine because you know creatine is the best supplement ever let's see oh yeah some citrulline malate uh, what this does is it increases the uh, nitric oxide in your bloodstream so that uh, when you train you get an amazing pump so I really love this supplement and those are the only three ingredients for my pre-workout which I use every day uh, I only use a scoop of each so that's uh, three grams of beta alanine five grams of citrine malate and five grams of creatine everyone Take three to five grams of creatine every day if you want to get strong and aesthetic as fuck. <laughs> Alright, um, you might prefer to use some sort of caffeine in your pre-workout, but I don't. Simply because uh, I'd rather drink a cup of coffee or drink a zero calorie monster for my caffeine. Uh, basically because it tastes better and I know that if I use caffeine capsules or pills or powders, whatever, that I'm going to be... Uh, getting a lot more caffeine in than I actually want to get so it's my pre-workout let's kill it alrighty it is squat day um, in this workout I worked up to uh, only yeah you heard it right only 315 pounds um, uh, or 140 kilograms uh, because, uh, oh yeah, by the way, this is some old leg day footage uh, from around a month old, uh, which I still had recorded and still had to put in a video. Uh, so yeah, excuse me for that. But in any case, 315 pounds, 140 kilograms right here. Uh, I did five sets of seven reps with this uh, weight. I normally do, as you guys may or may not know, um, a lot higher weight and a little bit lower reps on squats because I really enjoy that and I like to train heavy on squats but let me see uh, since the beginning of February if no uh, midway of February I got a minor I think it's a strain or something in my lat uh, in my right lat somewhere in the trap region um, of my outer trapezius um, it feels like um, a bit of a cramping sensation whenever I retract my scapula and as you guys may or may not know uh, you really have to retract your scapula when you're squatting <laughs> if you don't want to get your back slaughtered so uh, that's a minor issue that I've been working around for the past three months now already if not going on four uh, yeah around three and a half months um, it's been going better a lot. Uh, I've been squatting uh, 160 kilograms again for sets of five. So for some magical reason, my squat has been going up, uh, not tremendously, but just a little bit. Even though I didn't squat heavy for, I think, a month straight, all throughout uh, March and some of April, I think. So. Yeah, for some reason I did make some strength gains, even though I didn't train that heavy. Which blows my mind actually, because it's... Uh, a well, let me see. I Before this injury I could squat 160 kilos for um, 3 reps. 
no, no, my last PR was four reps. So for some reason, I got an extra rep on that, which uh, I'm really thankful for. Uh, even though I do it myself, but yeah, I really like the fact that I made some gains without putting in the necessary work, if that makes sense. Because I've basically just been focusing on hyper 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 hypertrophy work. Wow, that's a mouthful. That's what he uh, she said. Wow, I'm failing. Um, let me just calculate uh, how much 160 gram, uh, kilograms is in pounds. That's um, 355. Uh, so I did 355 for five reps uh, just about a week ago. A week ago. But with us and then we tweaking, huh? Um, so yeah, as you can see, my squat form is a bit narrow. Um, that's just the way I like to squat. You know, I don't like wide stand squatting or uh, just... Yeah, basically I like to squat around uh, shoulder width or hip width, whatever it is. Moving on to some stiff-legged deadlifts, my all-time favorite hamstring and glute exercise. Um, in this workout though, I had a little bit of issue with my flexibility <laughs> because I be I've been neglecting the uh, stretching part of my routine. Uh, but I've been picking it up anyway, so... Uh, I usually stick to around 10 reps for my sets, mostly 3 sets of 10 with uh, anywhere from 225 to 240 pounds. Um, because this exercise I strictly use for hypertrophy, uh, the main heavy work, you know, the 3 to 5 sets, uh, the 3 to 5 rep sets are from for my sumo deadlifts which i do on a different day because i have two separate leg days one is a sumo deadlift day and one is a squat day which probably most of you guys have also so in any case for some extra leg hypertrophy work hey i said it right in once i uh, did some leg presses uh, i most of the time stick to four plates aside uh, i think that's around 400 and 70 pounds for 70 around somewhere around that region uh, doing sets of 10 uh, I might add two twenty five to each side uh, no one twenty five to each side to get some more uh, uh, weight and rep action so yeah that's basically it guys <laughs> Time for the post-workout meal, which is going to consist of some... Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what to call this, but uh, I think it's gingerbread. Not really sure, but in any case, it's uh, the zero sugar kind. It's packed with fiber. Then uh, a tub of kind of like uh, Greek yogurt or quark, as you could say. Uh, as my protein source. Don't really need to eat protein right after your workout because that's a myth. Uh, you can just eat whatever you want. Uh, it's fast. If uh, it's smart to eat carbs because uh, of the glycogen usage, glycogen usage from during your training. <laughs> uh, so yeah, gonna eat that. Um, I actually prefer the uh, Greek yogurt variant but since we ran out I'm gonna have to do it with some fruity 0% fat quark right add that in then slice up some of this gingerbread or whatever you want to call it we call it paper cook but I guess 
none of you American or English people or whatever country you're from will understand what paper cook means but in any way I think it's gingerbread not sure but it's a carb source anyway so and since it's zero sugar you get a lot of fiber from this one which will fill me up because I'm very hungry like all the time alright let's enjoy and I think that's also a great tip for those people who are either cutting or always hungry and uh, basically go over their macros every day because they can't control their hunger eat foods that are high in fiber because fiber actually fills you up and uh, satisfies you for way longer than all carb sources that don't have any fiber in it and that's why I eat uh, that all brand cereal in my breakfast and you know that stuff because it contains a lot of fiber and it'll fill you up for longer so you don't have to like think about food every minute or second whatever you do um, so if you're always hungry and uh, can keep your hunger under control then eat foods high in fiber trust me you'll be more satisfied alright so for the second meal I'm going to be cooking some pasta uh, I got 100, and 100 grams of uncooked spaghetti spaghetti the whole wheat spaghetti and for the sauce uh, my mom already made the sauce, so I'm going to scoop out, uh, I believe, around two scoops of this sauce. Uh, there's meat in it, so I'm going to be getting some protein in. The water's boiling. Fun fact, this is actually my first time making spaghetti myself. So we're going to see how it goes. Curious. Uh, I actually know how to cook a lot, so I don't really think this is going to fail, but I'm going to... We'll see. We'll see how it tastes. Alright, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give it a thumb. Uh, th 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 if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what you liked about the video and what you would like to see in my future videos. So please do that comment down below. Please comment. Comment right now. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel for so much more content coming really soon. Uh, I've been working my ass off to get more videos out for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. If you do, leave a comment on it because I want to know. Alright? <laughs> in, in any case, so see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.